Uh, what are you doing? You know, our neighbor is a real ass. <laughs> what? Yeah, and actually, there's three of them. Now, that was an ordeal. Man. I think that was probably the most difficult exit we've ever had. Yeah, made a few people nervous with their RVs. We got yeah. a little close. And then we're gonna continue on the secret trail. Are you even excited? that I'll move on, walk right out of here. I'm up all night, keep pretending. Say the word. I'm up all night, keep talking, yeah. I'm out of Welcome to the channel. If you haven't, and there's a few people out there that haven't subscribed oh yet, I know who you are. <laughs> all right, so go ahead and just subscribe. All right, will you just save us all a bunch of problems in the end? <laughs> all right, so we're we left. Thousand trails in Las Vegas. Yeah, that was an ordeal. Man. I think that was probably the most difficult exit we've ever had. I think so um, too. Because getting in, the, the site right across from us was open. So you were able to just pull right in and then kind of back and we were done. Yeah, it was, it was like, nice. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't near as bad as what we thought we were going to deal with. But then the site was occupied. So then we had to do one of, the, ee, 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 one yeah. of these things just to position the truck to hook yeah. up to the trailer. Yeah, made a few people nervous with their RVs. We got yeah. a little close. It was it was snug, right. no doubt about it. And we had yeah. to back out of our pull through. Yeah. Which isn't unusual for us. Yeah. On to our next adventure stop. Yeah. So we go from Death Valley, from the wilderness to civilization, the strip, the nightlife, and we're going back into the wilderness. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so where are we headed? Yeah, where are we headed? We are going up uh, near uh, Valley of Fire uh, okay. State Park. Okay. We're not gonna camp in Valley of Fire. That's a little tight. Bear. We're going to boondock outside. So our first... The original plan. Well, the original plan was up near a place called Poverty Flats. Yeah. About five miles from the entrance to Valley of Fire. But uh, one of our friends on Facebook group, uh, Big Talk Big Travels group, mm -hmm. they uh, were just at um, this other boondocking spot that was closer to Lake Mead. Mm -hmm. And so they said, well, why don't you, you know, try this? There's plenty of room. We said, yeah. oh, yeah. So we're going to okay. check it out. Yep. So we'll try that one and see what it's like, see how mm -hmm. busy it is. And mm -hmm. uh, if it's uh, good, then we'll stay. Yeah. Then and we'll spend a couple of days going into the park. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Do some hikes and uh, see some of the really cool uh, geologic uh, formations. Yeah, and hopefully get some good pictures. Yeah. So it'll be nice to just unplug and hang out and relax and, and just yep. camp. Yeah, we'll, and then right we'll here. be off to our next one mm -hmm. uh, as we head start to head then south. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Yeah. A Maverick's pricing is the same as the TSD card, and we get uh, rebates on our Sam's yeah. Club. So 5% off of that. So this is technically 5% cheaper. Yes. Than, than the TSD. The TSD. TSD. Yeah. So. Yeah, the only gotcha potentially is they don't, they may not have DEF, but I'm hoping they do. Yeah, I mean, this is, this looks like a truck stop. Yeah, because they've they got satellite fueling, pumps. But so. there's not a sign that says DEF 
with the diesel. Yeah, so we'll so see. We'll see. But yeah, so score on Yay! the Mavericks and the fuel price. So does it have DEF? Woo! Yep, DEF. Cool. And nice. and whoops. So not only is this the same price as the TSD card, the 379, and we're going to get 5% off of that using our Sam's Club credit card, but I forgot, I just remembered, I have the Mavericks card. Oh, that's right. So in addition to the 5% off, I also get to use this yeah, and we get which is two, two cents, two cents off. off. And I gallon. might be able to get a free soda too. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go ask them about that. Yeah, yeah you're going to check into that one. Yes. You're trying to eke out every drop? Oh yeah. Yeah, at 379 out west. Yeah. Some of these nozzles for DEF aren't really clean and everything, and it's a pain to, to fill them. So it's a real joy when I get a good nozzle that dispenses the DEF without me having to kind of baby it. Lake National Rec Area Valley of Fire. Okay. Thirty-minute delay possible. Oh my goodness! Should have brought lunch. Flag station ahead. Oh yeah. So they are working today on a yes, Saturday. Yes, they are. This little pit toilet. So maybe we hit it right, and we won't have a thirty-minute. Hopefully not. Delay. Should we jump out and ask them? Just say, it's like, we're fine waiting 30 <laughs> minutes. I just need to know if I have to go back and get some, get some, get lunch. some lunch. Well, but actually, the national day of something is sort of decided for us. Yes, yeah, today, March normally, 9th, it's... Normally, when we have breakfast, mm -hmm. it's just like the second thing out of her mouth is, well, what do you want for lunch? <laughs> I haven't even finished breakfast yet. You know, but today, it's been decided for us. It has. Well, today's going to be a short travel day, so we were going to wait and have lunch when we get to our stop. We didn't plan on this. But today is National Meatball Day. Yeah. So we're going to have meatball subs, and I've already got yeah. them all made up in the freezer. I just have to pull them out and thaw them out. Yeah, so. that'll be tasty. That will be. Hit the light just right. No, not the light, the flag guy. Yeah, we sure did. We only had a few minutes wait. According to the GPS, we might be crossing over a high center railroad track. I hope not. Because you've been having a good day so far. I have been having a good day. No hot flashes. <laughs> Everything's just been peachy keen. There's a railroad track. Hopefully we're not going to have to Ugh. turn right. Okay, here's the big turn. Are we going to turn over the railroad tracks? Looks pretty smooth there. Yeah, the railroad track is turning. We're turning. Railroad track ended. Oh my. <laughs> Abruptly. Oh, this is really pretty. Here's our turn with the ditch on the side. On both sides. Both sides. There aren't any weight restrictions here or there. <laughs> I mean, the road's not going to collapse on us, is it? I hope not. I don't think there is. Okay, what's it say? Stewart Point Road. 15-day camping limit. Okay, so camping is legal. I saw a lot of signs for hunting and no sh target practice, so... And we've heard that the road in is a little rough. Yeah. So not this maintained. Oh, this will remind us of Alaska. Yes. And give Voyager a little preview of Alaska. <laughs> well, Voyager's already been to Alaska. That's true. Ryan. Ryan. On the other hand, I'm seeing little trails, little animal social trails. So. 
Maybe we'll get some wildlife. Yeah, maybe bighorn sheep? Possibly. Last time we were on Lake Mead, we saw some out of the water, but... No. So far, it's paved, oh, which is nice. Oh, there's some big poop there. Is oh, that yeah. horse poop? It uh, looks kind of like horse. Bison? No, it's not bison. <laughs> no, we're not going to have bison out here. Yeah, so I, I find it interesting that this used to, this was going to be a lakefront neighborhood. Neighborhood. Yeah, there's a palm tree. And because I've seen from Google that there are a few homes here, but I don't know if they're still occupied or not. This is pretty too. Wow, so the view from Poverty Flats or the view of the lake here? Yeah. I think this is going to be a lot quieter. Well, we haven't yet gotten there. That's true. And it could be packed with there's people. There's some more poop on the ground. That's some big poop, like bear poop. Are you giving us a play by play of the poop? Well, I want to know what a this poop, poop play is. Play by play? <laughs> That's right. Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's donkeys out here. That's got to be domestic horses. Yeah. That's got to be. Yeah, I think so. Oh, my. Oh, ah, watch out. Oh. I hope we latched everything down. Good job, good job. Whew. Shush. <laughs> well, it was almost a hot flashless day. <laughs> Ooh, well, this is fancy. It has pit toilets. Yeah, nothing but the best. Yes, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll stop here. There should be an opening, and we'll. Kind so of survey. And also one over there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go on the other side of it. Yeah. I'm liking this lake. Yeah, yeah. I am too. I'm thinking this is pretty nice. I mean, this ground looks pretty solid. It looks really solid. All right. So, where are we going? <laughs> that way? Yes. Don't mind us, we're just kind of joyriding around the desert <laughs> area, like this. Lake Mead. <laughs> Found our spot on Stewart's Point, uh, right here on Lake Mead. Uh, it's not bad for free, it's boondocking. So I'm going to put the panels up and see what we're going to get. It's about two. 2.30 right now. We're getting ready to have lunch here in just a little bit, so I'm going to pop them up, see what we're going to get on solar, and enjoy the next three, four days here. It's really nice. Not far from civilization, but far enough that I need to deploy Starlink. Yeah, so Verizon's pretty good, and T-Mobile's barely, oops, okay. But your AT&T, you can't even find a carrier. Yeah, and you know, we got Starlink, so might as well use it. That's a Elon's big... not going to give me a break or a discount for not, so. No. Wow. But this is my flagpole, buddy, so this will be pretty nice. So this flagpole, buddy, kit is nice because it... Uh, made for the starling fish. Lug it in. Uh, what are you doing? You know, our neighbor is a real ass. <laughs> what? Yeah. And actually, there's three of them. Three? Yes. And, hold on. And did you know, they came here last night and they pooped right next to the camper. What? Yes. That's 
disgusting. It is. But they, these little burrows are so cute. They're just prancing around like they own the place. Um, there's three of them, and like we saw a fourth one over there somewhere. And yeah, they're munching on the grass, and they're just playing around, and they're really cute. And we were told, actually Sandra was told by a state park ranger mm -hmm. that there's not only uh, wild burros mm -hmm. and donkeys out here. Oh, and coyotes. I and heard coyotes. Coyote last night. Yeah, but there's also wild cattle. Yeah. And that's no bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, don't we have something to do? We probably do have something to do. We should do it. So our first day trip from our camping spot over on Lake Mead. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> really, really nice spot. Yeah, we like it. We're going to check out, do a little hiking around Valley of Fire mm -hmm. State Park. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been here once before. Yeah. And Sandra found sort of this hidden secret trail <laughs> that's not really super well marked, I guess. No, so <laughs> it's it's an unofficial trail. So I had to go on our all trails hiking map and I found it. And then that kind of went from one thing to another to another. And I found this really cool loop trail. And it's called, but it's a secret. It is. Nobody knows about it. And they warned us. I mean, there's all the reviews said it's not it's not marked. You go yep. from like one wash to another. You go through some slot canyons. You might have to do some little rock climbing. Yep. So I don't know. We're going to try it. We'll see where it leads us. Hopefully back to our car because it's a loop, <laughs> supposedly. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll check that out. And, and but we're we're heading into the park. All right, well, here at the entrance fee station, it's, what, $15 per car. Yep. No senior passes for you. No national park passes. For me. For you. I'm kind of shut out today. <laughs> you are. You're having to pay full price. Man. can't see it, but that is Elephant Rock. This area is just kind of weird because we left Lake Mead and it's just regular mountains and, you know, desert. sandy, desert, pebbly Lines. looking. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden you turn the corner and bam! It's all this red. It's red, all this red stuff. It's really pretty mm -hmm. and it's very stark because it's just right here. Yeah, you in know? your face. Yeah, and then once you leave, it's gone. I mean, it's... It's, it's just a very unique area. So parking lot number three is the gateway to, I'm gonna say the crown jewel of the state park, which is the fire wave. Mm -hmm. And so it's busy here. Oh, I mean, it's like packed. Stupid busy. Yeah, so it's one of the nice things about having a smart car in state and national parks is you can fit it almost everywhere, yeah. anywhere. Uh, so we're going to head on down. Um, so I'm thinking that after this fire wave canyon, that the rest of the trail is a secret. But because so far, this doesn't look like much of a secret. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a secret. You're going to have to um, find the clues to find the trail. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Well, look, my camera's just up right up there. <laughs> oh, Sandra's got an early decision on the trail. We're not even a few steps on it. And we see some wildlife and she I didn't know. bring her camera. <laughs> Darn it. Uh. So annoying. I could go back and get my camera. Oh, there's a lizard. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh. 
Wasn't planning on this. <laughs> Sandra tells me this is Pastel Canyon. We're going to hike through that after we get done with the fire wave. Yeah. I think that's Pastel Canyon. <laughs> it's in the right direction. Oh. Oh, it's official though. It's on video. <laughs> Right, so we're here at the uh, fire okay. wave. I think fire wave, yeah. Fire wave, yeah. They, Sandra was telling me they close this trail in the summer, June mm -hmm. to September. I think so, yeah. Yeah, because obviously it gets really hot. Really hot. And all this rock absorbs the heat and then reflects it off. And, and just, man, cooks you. Yeah. So, yeah, but we're here. This is uh, really cool, mm -hmm. really pretty, and we're going to take a few shots and then we're going to continue on this secret trail. <laughs> Not sure think, how much of a secret it is anymore. I think my secret's out. I think so. <laughs> All right, so oh, quiet. the last time that I had heard about something secret, it's like no one was there. It's just the people that knew about it, the secret handshake or code. It's, like, it's been a while. They since got a we've sign now. Here, but it looks like a new sign. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and there's like people coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no like secret code here. Let's go find the seven wonders. Yes. One down, six to go. All right. Maybe she'll find a sticker in the secret trail. Now that would be cool. <laughs> so Sandra took some notes on this trail because we thought we were blazing a secret trail right so pink canyon is coming up next if i see like a kiosk or some sort of a marker that starts to label these things and i'm going to have serious questions as to whether this is truly a secret trail but it may not it may used to be secret but it's probably not secret anymore and i'm thinking a lot of people tried to find the trail got lost and they had to helicopter care flight in so they finally just gave up and said fine we'll mark it yeah because i'm you seeing, keep going with that theory i'm seeing a lot of brand new markers on this trail that is true that is true. Mm -hmm. And they did have the sign up in the front. They did. All right. and it, all, it all looks new. Pink Canyon, she says. Let's go find it. I mean, can you imagine the amount of water that comes rushing through here? And like. then to carve all of this out. Yeah, and it only does it for like an hour or two at a time. Yeah. All right, so this is the Seven Wonders Trail. So Sandra said that was wonder number two, Pink Canyon. And wonder number one, obviously, was Fire Wave. Is this number three? The road. The ranger. <laughs> yeah. So actually we saw them uh, hike the trail back up there to help someone that had, I think, fallen or hurt themselves. And they were sitting down. All right. Or maybe wonder number three is us getting across this road safely. <laughs> All right. Wonder number three, dazzle me. That was the ranger. <laughs> Those rangers are awesome. 
And so I thought we had left Las Vegas behind. But Sandra just described this canyon. She said, well, this is just a little slotty canyon. <laughs> You have, we haven't Get left it? the slots yet. Slotty. We're surrounded by slots. <laughs> and you can take that either way you want to. <laughs> high or the low. <laughs> Here we go. Old Clarence Bridge. All right, so what are they telling us? <laughs> well, according to my sources, we have to go there. So we're going to do an out and back. So this is going to take us to two slot canyons. And this is our second bonus. So the slot canyon we just went through, the waist high one, uh -huh. where we had to dunk down. Yeah. That was a bonus feature. Bonus. And this is a bonus feature because you never a see sign? signage like this. Oh, yeah. A good sign. A good sign. That you can read. Yeah, and understand. All right. But we're going to do what they say not to do. Oh, lovely. Well, par for the course for us. All right. Here we go. Onward. one that does require some rock scrambling. Oh, this slot canyon? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Nice and cool. Mm -hmm. Man. Somewhere out here, and we're close to it, was a filming location for Star Trek Generations. Mm -hmm. So now we have to go watch that movie tonight. Yeah, I, and I can't remember exactly where it was. It was on a rock. <laughs> that narrows it down. Yeah, and I think it's in this area, mm -hmm. but I don't know which rock. Nature's air con. Yes, yeah, so this looks like a secret passage. Looks like it ends <laughs> right here, doesn't it? It does. It does, it's hard to tell. Wow. But then it's magic. Sandra asked if there was a view once I got to the top up here. No, not much of a view here. But the view is right there behind me. That's the view. <laughs> you always gotta look behind. You have like you gotta move forward. Well, when you're going forward, you gotta watch behind you. It's true. That is pretty awesome. Oh, look. There's lichen. There's life. Oh, yeah. I thought that was poop. No, it's lichen. I just thought a sheep ate something bad and kind of like had diarrhea on it. Yeah, rock. so that means Sandra's kind of liking it up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, being out here, man, I rock! <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good to be outside. So on a hike like this, I always appreciate the quiet of nature when there's no planes, no other people. <laughs> Except for Sandra panting. <laughs> but it just makes you just appreciate nature and and just being out here like this. Oh. Alright. Well, speaking of that, so I mean there's a lot of rocks out here, no doubt about it. This is all rocks. But there's some cool looking sights and everything. I don't know, just, I know it's more rocks, but the kind of neat colors and... I feel like we're on 
on Mars or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's why Star Trek Generations came out here. So we're back at the parking lot. We just like popped up and voila, there it is. See how secret? <laughs> See how secret that pathway was? <laughs> it is so secret we missed it. Yeah, really. <laughs> so Sandra asked, well, we've seen, we've seen the seven wonders, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. yeah. And that last one, the cave of wonders or fire cave or whatever it was, and that was a little bit stretching it, I think. But Sandra asked, do we, do we climb the hill for a view? Mm. Yeah. Is it worth the picture? I'm saying that hill is a no-brainer to go up it. Is it worth the picture? Oh, yeah. I Go think so. GoPro doesn't think so. <laughs> yeah, GoPro shut it off right before we finished. <laughs> All right, are we going? Yeah, we're going. All right, let's do it, because then after that, it's lunch. Yes, I'm starving. It looks steeper than it probably is. All right, you made it up to the top. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> Pretty view, though. Yeah. <laughs> she is unconvinced. All right, we've conquered the mountain. Yeah. Let's go down and get some lunch. Conquer lunch. Yes. <laughs> Conquer our hunger. Mm -hmm. Strike walk. We just passed it. Right up there. That's right. No, it would have been, we just passed it. Gosh darn it. So, oh, you just love doing that, don't you? <laughs> it's because I can. <laughs> we, um, I, I forgot about an important wonder, one of the seven wonders, and it's called Striped Rock, which is right here, and it looks like the Nike sign. So, see it? It's got stripes all over okay. it. Okay, yeah. Striped Rock. Striped Rock. I got it. Yeah. There you go. All right, cool. We're almost home, not far from our campsite. One of the rangers at Valley of Fire State Park, Sandra was asking her about wildlife, and she said well, I... that there's wild horses and donkeys or burros, and that she also said there's cows wild yeah because i told her i said we're sitting you know we're staying down here and we're seeing all this what looked like horse poop everywhere and she said yeah there's wild horses burrows and cows wild, wild cows. cows i have never heard of that ever well it's not bears or moose up in alaska but you know here in nevada at lake mead we'll take the wild cows and donkeys yeah there's a couple of them Where? Next to him. Right next to him. On the other side of that bush. Oh yeah. Boy, they just blend right in, don't they? They really do. So we just got back from Mesquite. Had a nice uh, lunch with some friends in the channel. Uh, thank you, Nick and Dina. That was really good. Came back to beautiful weather and just a gorgeous view of Lake Mead. Uh, the uh, color is really nice on the uh, water today. So got the panels up and we'll get a few more watts of solar before the sun sets today. And maybe we'll see some more of our neighbors. Getting old. When I was loading the bikes in Palm Springs, I pulled a muscle by my rib cage. And I can do this and I've been doing it, but it kind of hurts. So Sandra is going to help me out today. We'll see if we can get a little comedic relief here with her pulling the ramps out of the drum of so, the uh, truck. So how does this go? I I hold it here and here. There and there. Underneath. No, on top. 
That one's on top, and that one's on the bottom. Is she gonna do it, folks? All right, she's got one end down. Well, now here's the key. You haven't done your job. Oh. You uh, gotta get the off, or the chocks off. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I gotta do the tough job. All right, so hold that thought. Oh, don't move. Don't move. This is normally her job. That's kind of tough. <laughs> All right, let's see you now. Yes, that goes there and it goes to there. All right, well, that's not really good video content. <laughs> good job. I still have another one. Yeah, that's true. You could do the bottom and the bottom, but it just makes it more difficult. Oh yeah, it's rolling. It's awkward. <laughs> Man, good job. Thank you. I'm disappointed there wasn't more video content on that though. All right, so what comes out must go back in. Yeah, and no comments on that. You guys keep your minds out of the gutter on that one. Yeah, Sandra's got to put these ramps now back into the truck. You're on stage, baby. <laughs> Hit it. I just hold these two, right? Yes, and put them back together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you got to like lift it up at the corner that yeah, at the hinge. And I go through the back one and then the top on the front. Yeah, so go all the way through on the back one and the top one there, and then on the front right there, you just grab the thicker top one. Do that? Do this. Oh yeah, the bottom one, I mean. <laughs> and then this side goes in first. No, yes, that side goes in first. like good step-by-step -step instructions to help the uh, pupil. <laughs> All right, one down, one to go. There'll be an exam later. Here we go. Oh, you can do it. It's slipping. You gotta lift up. Lift up at the hinge point. Not all the way, yeah, there you go. All right, good job. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Excellent job. Most everything survived on our rig after that, so we're good. We can we can leave tomorrow for Mojave.
right, well, well, I kind of found a soft spot in the ground. Holy moly! We're stuck. 